Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to show you guys how you can overcome this access denied message where you don't have permission to access whatever page in question, even though it might be a very normal website, such as Target.com, which is a US retailer, but could also be government or more important sites that you absolutely need to access. So one of the main reasons you may run into this issue is that you happen to be in another country. So when you go to these web servers, the only thing they care about is what country are you basically coming from. So if they see you from a country which they don't think would have any normal customers but more expect to receive spam mail or that kind of thing, then they might outright just block you from accessing the site because they're trying to block all of the spammers, all of the bots, and so on and so forth. So one really useful tool you can use to get around this is a VPN, which is a virtual private network. If you don't already know, the basic idea behind a VPN is it helps to hide your data by uh, securing your connection behind a server. And this server is going to be the actual location and the actual IP address that the website you're trying to access sees. And that server is going to actually pass the web data to your computer. So it's kind of like a middleman that hides who the real boss is. And it's perfect for getting around this problem. So I'll just go ahead and hit secure my connection now because we're dealing with a location-based problem. So if we're able to say to the web server that we're actually in the US or San Francisco, then it's gonna treat our computer as if we really are in that physical location. So now by connecting to the Avira VPN server, it's now saying that my virtual location is US San Francisco. And if I refresh this web page, it's going to allow me to access it because obviously it thinks I'm a US customer now and it's a US retailer, so it's gonna let me access the web page. So you can use this trick not only to get around online merchants, also government websites, or basically anyone who's trying to keep unwanted traffic out uh, simply because you're changing your virtual location and they don't know anything else about where you actually are, thanks to the VPN. So there are free VPNs out there that can allow you to use a little bit of data, such as TunnelBear. Uh, if you're looking for a yearly subscription to a VPN, I would suggest CyberGhost. It's the best one I found. The reason I'm using a Vera right now is uh, I found a really good discount on it, but that's long since expired. So I'll leave a couple links for you guys down below. I hope this helps you guys to figure out and solve this access denied problem. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.